Hey guys, it's Lisa from ToCreatorWebsite.com and today I'm going to show you how to create child themes for your main WordPress theme. And this is a very, very important thing to do if you use WordPress and you are customizing your default theme and you're concerned about messing things up or when your developer updates the theme, you may lose all of your customizations. So that's why it's important to have a child theme. Child themes are really about preservation. You can keep the main theme intact and then you can make your own modifications as needed. So what I'm going to do in this video is demonstrate this using the 2011 WordPress theme, which is the default WordPress 3.0 theme. Now I'm not using this theme, but I can still demonstrate by using the preview feature in the WordPress admin panel. So, for example, let's say you're using the 2011 WordPress theme and let's preview my site using that theme. So right now, this is what my site would look like if I used the 2011 theme. Now, let's say I want to start making some customizations to this theme, but I want to keep everything else intact. I don't want to really mess with the original theme. So I'm going to create a child theme. So the first thing you're going to do is open up your FTP program. I use Fire FTP. You can use FileZilla. If you don't know how to use FTP, then there's tons of videos out here. I have instructions on ToCreatorWebsite.com. They're everywhere on how to FTP. So what you're going to do is you're going to navigate to your main themes folder in WordPress. So you should see a list of all the themes that you have in your themes folder. What you're going to do is create a brand new folder. So I'm going to right click here and say create directory and I'm going to call it 2011 hyphen child because this is the child theme for the 2011 theme. Okay. Now the only required file to have inside this folder is the style sheet. So we're going to create that very easily. So open up notepad or dreamweaver or whatever text editor, web editor you have. I like using Dreamweaver because it color codes the text when you're, especially when you're working in PHP. So it's kind of nice. So the first thing you're going to do is put this information at the top of the file, the theme name, the description, the description and author aren't really necessary. The template, this is important because you're going to put the name of the parent theme right here. So if you're using a template called or a theme called, let's go to mine just to see. Let's say the name of your theme is structure. Then you would change this to structure, whatever the parent template is. Now, what this line does right here is it grabs the original style sheet. So all the formatting from the original theme and it imports it right in here. Now you don't have to do this, but I would highly recommend doing this because you're going to really just work off the original parent theme. So what this says is, Hey, pull up the entire style for the parent theme and let me do my customizations below. So anything below this, like what I've done here will overwrite the original theme. So I hope you guys are staying with me. So what I've done here is I've just changed the color of the title. Okay. So after you make your customizations and I'll go into more detail about this in a second, you're going to just save this file as style.css. Okay. This is the only file that is required for your child theme. Now we're going to upload this new file to our new child folder theme that we just created. So let's go back to our FTP program and let's go to our 2011 child folder. As you can see right now, it's empty. So we're going to go over and upload our style file just like that. So now when you go to WordPress and you go to your appearance tab and go to themes, you should see this new child theme. And sure enough, there it is. And it doesn't have a picture because I didn't give it a picture. So now let's preview this child theme. Notice the original theme is still kept intact over here. So let's preview the child theme with the new color title. So now you can see the child theme now has a different color. 
it took on the color that I told it to in our new style sheet. So now you can start customizing as many areas of this theme as you want while leaving the original theme intact. Now you might be wondering, well, Lisa, now how did you know to call it site title A, blah, 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 blah. Let me show you where you can get this from. Go to your appearance tab and then go to editor. Go to the theme that you're using. So in this case, we're doing 2011. Go to the parent theme and you're going to hit select. Now we're going to scroll down until we find the style sheet, which is typically at the bottom. So as you can see, this is where I got the code from. See, site title A, which is basically the color of the site title. So if you want, you could have taken all of this. Let's do a control C and copy this and paste it. And so then you would modify the color to whatever you want modify the font size to whatever you want. So let's make the font size 40 instead of 30. And I change the color to gray. So let's save this again and re-upload it. Okay, now that I've uploaded, let's go back to our themes. And let's preview it again with those changes. So as you can see, the title's now gray. And instead of being 30 pixels, it's now 45 pixels. So you can see that the title's a little bit bigger. So I've just modified this theme without making any changes to the original. So once your child theme looks like you want it to look, you can now activate this theme and now you've preserved your original theme. It's a great, great way to protect your blog design from any upgrades that the original theme designer may make. So if you're not using child themes, I would highly recommend you think about using them. So I hope this was helpful, guys. Get in there, create your child themes, have some fun, and let me know how it goes. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.